What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Limitless Pulse. So this thing came out right around the time that I recorded my pod system showdown, and of course, I had to have one in my life. As soon as I saw the promo images and the lights on this thing, I thought it was really freaking cool, and I just had to have one. So luckily, Plyrock uh, hit me up about doing some reviews for them, and of course I said yes. So before we get started with this video, I do have to state my intent by saying that I did receive this product for free from the manufacturer for the purpose of doing this video review. However, it has no monetary value to me, which means my opinions on it will remain honest and unbiased, of course, as always always. With that being said, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the people over at Plyrock for sending this my way. I've also got another product of theirs that I will be taking a look at very soon, so stay tuned for that video as well. All right, so let's cover some of the details before we go down to the close-ups. This thing comes in three different color options. Black, like I have here, red, and blue. Uh, it's going to cost you $29.99 online, and for some strange reason, I swear I heard these things were about 60 bucks brand new uh, when they first came out. So so uh, I'm not sure if that's true. I didn't really pay attention too closely to the price of these things when they first came out. I was just too busy drooling over the pictures. But with that, I'm glad they dropped their price down to $29.99. I think that's a much better price point. And as far as the pods are concerned, a three pack of pods is going to cost you $12.99, which is a little bit on the steeper side. But then again, you got to remember these are refillable pods. So you're going to get a little bit extra life out of them as compared to something like the Jewel or the Von Earl or any of the other pod systems that are not meant to be refilled. So anyways, let's go down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, we've got the Limitless Pulse in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging and then we'll talk about what's inside. So first and foremost, pretty cool looking packaging, I gotta say. Um, it kind of looks like half of like a blister kit and then you have this cool looking box for the rest of it. So yeah, uh, otherwise it's got a nice red kind of shininess right there for the Limitless logo. We have Pulse and Innovative pod system, something that's very hard to read below that. Plyrock is the manufacturer there. You can see that logo right there at the bottom. Um, nothing really much else. Obviously, the little lithium battery warning there. The cool looking scripty limitless logo on that side. And on the back, you know, your normal stuff. Uh, some legal stuff and uh, that kind of thing. Really nothing else on the back. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart here. Let's open her up. Well, there we go. Well, that rips pretty darn easily. I did that literally the first second I got this thing in. I uh, went to open this thing up and it ripped. So I tried to repair the box as best as I could for this video, but the box is very weak. Anyways, let's see what else is in the box. Let's take a look at what is in this black box of mystery. Uh, all right. So, well, I did not expect this. We have a little needle tip dropper bottle, which is actually going to be really helpful for filling this thing. Would I want to carry this thing around in my pocket? Probably not. Um, I don't think it's going to be quite as uh, nice as having a unicorn bottle, but then again, uh, I guess it would make it a little bit easier to fill. And there we go. I knew it was going to be in there. The magical uh, kind of uh, kind of fabric-y uh, USB cable. Uh, interesting, you know, nice touch. Um, it's a different one, not your standard cable. So uh, five extra bonus points there. And I believe that's it. You oh, know, no, wait, there's something else in there. Oh, I think there's, okay, yeah, there's some paperwork. Oh, you know, I, I would never have been able to tell by looking at this thing, you're gonna have to open this thing up and look all the way through it to get any of this stuff out. Okay, all right, yep, yep. Maybe putting a little thing that says accessories or something on the box would be a little bit helpful. So as you can see, we have a QR code on this little rolled up piece of paper that was in there, and that is gonna be your instruction booklet. So not only do you have to have a phone that has a QR code reader, but it also has to have an internet connection as well. So for those of you without a data plan, you're kind of screwed, but <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I feel like they could have uh, probably fit that all on this one little sheet of paper. I think they kind of uh, cheaped out with actually going with the online route there. But anyways, and we also get an extra pod. As you can see here, we get one extra pod. It comes with one pre-installed, so you're pretty set on pods for a little bit. So here is the Pulse itself. As you might have been able to tell already, it's an all-in-one system. It has draw-activated firing. It uses refillable Pulse pods, which are two mil juice capacity. 
and they have a proprietary gold-plated connection. The pod itself acts as the tip of the unit uh, where you put your mouth on. It has LED accenting, which are multicolor and button controlled. Uh, the battery is a 380 milliamp hour built-in battery with LED battery life indication and a USB charging port, a micro USB to be more specific, which has a maximum one amp charging rate. And as you can see, pretty modern looking and sleek if you ask me. So one really cool feature about this device is that it has an on and off mode. So currently it is off. If I press the button, nothing happens. If I try to take a puff off of it, nothing's gonna happen. And that's gonna save you a little bit of battery life. Now, if I wanted to turn it on, five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. And there you go, you can see the three colors, that means it's on. So now you can press the button and the LEDs will activate. And then uh, we can cycle through the colors here so you guys can see them. And they're pretty cool. We have, uh, I think there's like six or seven different colors. Uh, let's see, red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven colors to choose from. So seven different color LEDs to choose from there, which is pretty darn cool as you can see. Kind of a cool looking design. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to refill the pod. So just uh, take out the cartridge like that. You can see the little uh, gold plated connectors and the battery there. And that is the pod. So that is what we need to refill. This little black piece is just basically a cover. So you can kind of just get under there with your fingernail or something like that and remove that little black piece. Then you have this little red piece and it has a little tiny arrow. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see on here, but uh, the little tiny red arrow means that's the one you gotta remove. Um, really, you can take out both plugs. Uh, I have done it before in the past where I've taken both of these little plugs out and it works just fine. And actually I prefer doing it that way because then you get the air flowing out of the pod uh, from that other hole. But in any case, um, it, I'm just gonna do it like they show here uh, on the actual pot itself. So then you take your liquid, we've got some Kraft Mint, and you wanna do it very, very slowly. So just ever so slowly, fill up that pod just like that. And then replace that little red plug. Might be a bit fiddly for you guys. Actually, my little red piece kind of fell in Oop, there it is. All right, we're good. <laughs> Just like that. So put that plug back in right where it came from, cap it off, and you're good to go again. So you have a nice full limitless pulse pod ready to go for the rest of the day. Put it back in. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So really, really easy stuff there. Really like that. And uh, I think uh, a lot of you guys will like that as well. So with that being said, let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, so we've reached the point in the video where we talk about the pros and the cons. So let's first start off with the pros. And my first pro is the colors. The colors, Duke, the colors. Does anyone remember that commercial besides me? Anyways, yeah, the colors. It's really freaking cool. I love being able to just switch it up on a moment's notice. I mean, I am a huge fan of color changing LEDs. I've got some in my room for backlighting for my computer, and I've got them all over the place. We have them here at the shop, and I just am totally fascinated by color changing LEDs and I think it's really cool that you could just switch it up right there on the fly. And my second pro today is the on off feature. Now I talked about it briefly in the close-ups but I just think it's a really cool feature to add to a pod system. You don't really see that and too many other ones out there and I think it's a great thing because I for one have left my uh, jewel battery out on the counter overnight with about half battery left. When I go to take a puff in the morning it's already dead because it uses battery on standby. This one here you can shut it off and not have to worry about that whatsoever. And my third pro today is that it's sleek and modern looking. I mean, this is kind of the coolest looking pod system that's out there on the market nowadays. It looks like something out of Tron and I'm totally okay with that because I don't know, I just really like the look of this thing and it's definitely a conversation starter. And my fourth and final pro is the battery life. I get days of battery life with this system and there's really no question in my mind why. Uh, this has a built in 380 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty large in comparison comparison to some of the other pod systems that might have tops 200, 220, somewhere around there, milliamp hours, and as far as that's concerned, this thing just kind of blows away the competition.
All right, guys, so we're moving on to some cons. And my first con is that the pods can be a bit of a pain in the ass to get back in this thing. Now, I'll try to demonstrate for you guys here, and I'll tell you the reason why it is such a pain. First of all, there you go. Right there, you can see the little fork in the top, that little groove. That is to help guide the little uh, piece on the pod itself into place and make it nice and flush looking, which, you know, I can kind of appreciate. But at the same time, you kind of have to get real close to the thing and make sure you guide it in all the way. And there you go. There it goes. I mean, it's not nearly as easy as something like the Jewel or the MyJet or the Von Earl or any of the other pod systems out there. Those are pretty darn easy and you just click it into place. Boom, you're done. This one here has those tabby things which really annoy me. And my second con today is that it's cheap. It feels very cheap and plasticky. The, the button itself kind of rattles around a little bit. Let me see if I can get this on the mic here. Hopefully you guys could hear that, but yeah, it feels really, really cheap to me, and I kind of wish they did it in aluminum. That would have just made a world of a difference for me personally. Uh, right now, I feel like I can snap this thing in half no problem, whereas when it comes to the other pod systems, especially like the Jewel, it has a bit of weight to it. This thing is very, very light and very flimsy feeling. So my third con today is that the airflow is way up near the tip. Now, this isn't going to affect everyone. If you're the type of person that just puts it up to their mouth and vapes on it and puts it back down, down, then you won't realize this whatsoever. Uh, it's mostly for people like me that will occasionally just have it dangling from their mouth when, uh, you know, I'm driving or I'm occupied with my hands or something like that. I'm doing something else. I'll just have this thing chilling in my mouth. And if I go to take a puff on it, sometimes it won't hit whatsoever because my mouth is actually covering the airflow. So it's only really for the people that tend to dangle their e-cigs, but uh, obviously that won't be everyone out there. And my fourth and final con for this device is that the pull sensor on it isn't quite sensitive enough in my opinion now this is a very subjective thing and there's going to be kind of a, a fine line when it comes to just the right amount and not quite enough so for me personally i feel like it's a little bit too loose for a proper mouth to lung hit as far as i'm concerned in fact the first couple of times i went to use it i was doing my normal mouth to lung inhale and i wasn't getting any vapor production the light would blink on and off really quickly and i wasn't getting anything out so uh it wasn't until i did a direct lung inhale on it until i realized that oh well well, apparently this thing needs a little bit more pull coming through it. So as far as I'm concerned, the uh, airiness is right in between the sink, which is really airy, and the MyJet, which is really a tight draw. So somewhere floating around awkwardly right there in the middle. So at the end of the day, is this thing worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one for review? And my answer would be probably not. Unfortunately, I would say I'd probably pass on this one just for the simple fact that the only redeeming factor to this one is that it lights up, which is really cool. If you like that fact, then go out and spend your money. I think you'll have a good experience with it. However, um, you know, there's really not much else to it. Uh, I guess the pods are pretty easy to refill, but uh, at the end of the day, if it was a choice between this or the MyJet, I'd probably choose the MyJet just because I like the draw a little bit better, but I will be doing another pod system review where I do multiple different pod systems all compared against each other, and who knows, this might be a never-ending pod showdown series, so I guess we'll have to wait and find out, but until then, if you wanted to pick one of these up for yourself, make sure you check out the links down there in the description, I'll have them down there for you guys. So that about does it for this video, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click Click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos. Also, leave me some comments in the box below about the Limitless Pulse or any other pod system questions you may have. I'd love to answer them for you guys. Also, check out the advocacy and my social media links in the box below. You can also pick yourself up a Daily Vape t-shirt. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and as always, vape on!